Welcome back. Well, um, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while since I've done any videos. And there's a good reason for it. I will explain more later. Um, this one I'm fishing today. I'm on my way to Chesil to meet my good friend Wayne, the blind angler. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description. There, he's now currently enjoying his time with the boys. His yearly outing called the Jolly Boys as well. Um, they're currently at West Bay. Chesil, that's where I'm going today. It's a four hour journey. I'm going with my brother. I need to go with my brother for obvious reasons. So hopefully the target is cod. Let's see what happens, all right? So the next thing you're gonna see is me, the chesel. It's been a while since I've done a video, pretty much nearly over 250 days. I'll talk more about that uh, later on. Um, however, I'm fishing. I'm currently at Chesil. Well, I'm right down the other end. I'm at West Bay today. Um, so far, so good-ish. We have um, our target today is cod. Now, obviously, I've caught a few cod recently. Um, last week with uh, fish owner as well. Um, we're getting some good bites. We're getting a lot of white, and we're getting pouts. They are getting bigger. To no good size really at the moment. Um, I'm fishing today purely with pulley panels and blacks and did try to go down to West Bexington. Everywhere is packed today. It's uh, Saturday the 12th of November and everywhere is absolutely ramo. So I've come down here, it's quite quiet. We've got the cliffs here, as you can see. Currently around about oh where are we? We're about currently about four o'clock in the afternoon. Low tide was two. So we're going to be fishing the tide up. The high tide is 9 o'clock. I'm going to be here about 10 o'clock, till 10 o'clock, and then a four hour drive home. Um, I have met today um, the Jolly Boys, met up, met up with the boys, uh, Wayne the Blind Angler, his brother Stefan, Ed the Bait Guy, and Matt. Uh, they're doing alright. Ed's caught a cod today. They were here yesterday as well. They got they got a cod yesterday as well, but we want, we want codds in numbers. We want, we want them big today. So I'm hoping we're going to get something good. So um, I'll show you how I'm going to bait up in a minute. Um, pretty simple. Um, it's a bit rough today. It's a bit, uh, we've got southwesterly winds. So um, yeah, I'll show you what's going to happen. I'm, I'm glad to be out, and um, fingers crossed for a few fish. The sun's going down. I've come in with my brother, by the way. I didn't actually introduce him there. There's my brother. I don't know if you can hear me with the wind. The guy with the light there. Let's zoom in, shall we? Mr. Wayne Valden. Blind angler. Ed and Matt. Ed has had two cod. Two cod now, and Matt's had one. That looks to be the spot. And we've got Stefan there, Wayne's brother. So, yeah, um, right, anyway. Inundated with these buoys. Pout whiting. Nothing too big. Ed's had a really decent sales pipe, pout whiting. But um, that's all I need to show you at the moment. Pulley panel rigs. I'll show you. I'd see. Pulley panel rigs I'm using a 4 0 and a 2 0. It's getting dark now. Obviously, the sun is setting. I'm going to get the lights on the rods, get the lights set up in the bivy, and bring on nighttime fishing. It's getting a bit chilly now. Um, obviously, three cod have been caught by the boys so far, so hopefully, it carries on into a good session this evening. Fingers crossed. Uh, right, guys, I'll be honest with you, it's not going very well today. It's been a bit of a We've been here for about two and a half hours, it's been pretty poor for us. I'm going to show you some fish that Harry's just caught. Just had a double shot of the beautiful whiting. Yeah, they're tiny. They are tiny here compared to up further up. Uh, further up the, uh, the Bristol the Channel. The biggest I've seen today. Yeah. Anyway, we're still catching. There's fish being caught. They the boys over there have found a honey hole. I think they've got about three or four cod over there now. But I'm not moving. I'm not moving at all. Sorry about the wind guys, it is what it is. Um, still sticking with my strategy of pulley panels all night with blacks and squid. But I heard there was a ray here yesterday. So, there you go. It's got Joey Mackerel on there. Hold Joey Mackerel, took the tail off. And hopefully, 
we may see a ray. Either or, what time is it now? It's 10 to 6, so I'm, I'm here till 10, so I've still, still got a good four hours. Um, but at the moment, it hasn't been fantastic, but it can only get better. So the result of the whole Joey mackerel is one of these. So I can tell you now, I ain't doing any more of that. So I'll go straight back to the, uh, I'll go straight back to doing my blacks and squid. We don't want to see any more of these tonight. Right now, guys, I thought I'd update you a little bit. Obviously, what's um, I've been missing for a while, haven't I? I haven't really done very many videos, and that is that is because um, in May this year, I was taken to hospital. I was very ill. Um, it all started with my eyes getting double vision, and I was starting to lose power in my body. No one knew what was wrong with me. Um, it got to a point where I couldn't even get out of the chair. I couldn't sit down. I wasn't in any pain. It's just like my body was dying, if that makes any sense. Um, basically, yeah, just watch this clip and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about it. What it is, is um, I was diagnosed with myasthenia gravis in June this year. So just watch this. So myasthenia gravis is a, a rare autoimmune disease and it affects roughly eight to 10 people every 100,000. Now, this disease is also known as the snowflake disease, so everyone who has it always reacts differently. Um, it started, basically, myasthenia gravis is basically my immune system damages the communication system between the nerves and the muscles, so I easily get tired. So that means I started with double vision, I had droopy eyelids, my facial expressions were non-existent, I couldn't chew properly and if I did it was only for about five to ten seconds and then I couldn't eat at all and then swallowing I couldn't do that very much either my, my speech was slurred I had shortness of breath and I had no power in my arms legs and neck basically my, my whole body was collapsing and that was because my immune system was damaging my communication system so I was in hospital for three and a half weeks and I was on steroids by IV. Uh, that didn't work. The thing that did work was called immunoglobulin. Now, there was lots of that stuff before COVID arrived, but that now treats COVID patients, immunoglobulin, so it's very rare and they're very tight to give it to me. Um, so that was, a, that was a, a handful in itself trying to get some from my neurologist, but I, I managed to get some and that, that, that made me feel a lot better. And now I'm taking medication to stable it every day. So I was in there for three and a half weeks in hospital. They didn't even know what was wrong with me for the first two and a half weeks. But now I'm out and with the help and support from my family, it's been absolutely amazing. And now I know what my body can do after being off for so long. I'm ready to take the next step. And um, yeah, I'm ready for a new adventure. So obviously I've been fishing a few times since that incident. Um, obviously I've still got it. It's treatable, it's not curable. I'm on a lot of tablets a day, hence the reason for, obviously, I don't know whether you can notice, obviously I got put on a lot of weight, especially on the chin and the belly, and that's because I'm taking a lot of steroids, and that's something that obviously um, controls my myasthenia. So I'm back, well, I'm not back now. Obviously I'll get tired very quickly. I am doing, I am gonna be doing some videos, not as many as I used to, but I'm gonna be working harder on my videos, spending more time on it, and producing hopefully some better content. The sib is still there. <laughs> I'm still, uh, my engine's been in, um, trying to be fixed since April. <laughs> um, it's still not fixed. I don't know what's going on there. I need to go check it all out and uh, have the sib ready for the summer. The spring, the summer, looking forward to that. Maybe even try and get out. Oh, that looks like a bite. Don't be silly. Um, that's, that's what's going on. Um, obviously I, I can drive quite a lot recently, but I can't fish for large amounts of time. I've sit down, I've sat down a lot today. Um, update completely, I haven't shown you any cod, but the boys over there, part of the Jolly Boys crew with Wayne and everyone, Matt's had five cod now, I think. And I think Ed's got three. Wayne hasn't got any yet. Um, but the bigger fish are starting to turn up. I hope I don't get any more dogfish. Um, but yeah, I'm still gonna stick to my strategy, pulley panel rigs with blacks and squid, or just blacks, and hoping the cod will just come, you know, 10 meters to the right, and I'll get some. 
anyway, yeah, thanks for watching that, guys. Just wanted to get you up to date and show you what was going on with me. Um, I am still here. Send me a message. The people that have sent me a message, um, I know exactly who you guys are. Thank you so much for your support over the last few months. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, here's to hopefully more and more content. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I've got a lot more content to come. I've got, I do travel all over the UK, so hopefully, yeah, thank you very much. Right, let's get some fish, all right, because I'm not gonna lie, West Bay is a bit poor right now, however it is for me, but for the boys over there, they're doing all right. Sorry guys, no one wants to see this. No one wants to see that, but that's a double shot of whiting on blacks. The other one was clear. We go again, it's time now. Seven o'clock, two hours before high tide. Something needs to happen. Double shot of whiting. Oh, I can tell you now, they're a lot smaller here at West Bay than what they are further up in Ferry Bridge and stuff like that. They're huge at Ferry Bridge, but they're really, really, really small. I'm gonna get them back. These guys are still about, Pat Whiting's, but still no cod for us. Uh, got about another hour to high tide. I'm, st I'm still hopeful for a cod. And that was that, to be honest, guys. Uh, you know, after a four hour drive down to Chesil and not the best performance of, uh, well, you know, that's fishing for you, isn't it? Um, I had enough, so we packed up and we went home. Um, the boys did well. They caught about, I think they caught 11 cod that night in total. Um, yeah, it was a good laugh. Really good to get out. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Obviously, this is my first video back in like nine months. Um, there's going to be more. There is going to be more. Thank you very much for your support. If you haven't yet, obviously, this isn't a great video on fishing, but there will be more videos coming soon. So please hit that subscribe button. If you could hit the like button, share it with your friends if you can and notify um, clicking that bell. If you click that bell, that will notify you when I get out a new video. I do have another video in the pipeline. Um, hopefully I'm going to get out in about a week or two. Maybe I might even get out in a few days. Who knows? But um, thank you very much for your support. Now you know what's going on with me. I really appreciate it. And if anyone wants to meet up and have a fish or something like that, by all means, the more people the merrier because then I'll foresee I've got more people to be with. It's not good to be on my own. So anyway, stay safe, guys. Oh, and it's nearly Christmas now by the time I've edited this and sent it out. So Merry Christmas to everybody out there. I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic festive period with your friends and family. And I'll see you all soon. Take it easy.